What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another battery update. As you guys can see, I've got a couple more batteries from from my usual source. So that's good. Uh, these are just the 4, 5 and 9 amp hour Milwaukee drill batteries. So I haven't tested any of these yet, but most of them are... Oh, this one here is at 3 bars. 1... Because these aren't always accurate, but it's always nice to have a check. None for that one. None for that. None for that. One, and this one's got one as well. So, uh, it's a little bit of a hole. It's got to be good. Uh, the process consists of just uh, cutting along the seam, making sure that I don't actually cut into the batteries. But uh, so far I've gone through like a hundred of these and I haven't actually cut through them uh, exposing the batteries or anything. So just want to give you guys another quick update on what I've done so far. So as you can see I've got pretty much all of them taken apart besides one which I'm working on. The battery won't flatten my cutting saw. Um, but as you can see we've got a really bad one here with a lot of corrosion on one side. And basically perfect on the other so I'm not sure what happened with that one maybe it was submerged in water only on one side and we got another one which is uh, not too bad that could probably clean up with a bit of sandpaper and then I can rewrap those cells this one here a uh, bit more dirt there uh, more corrosion this one here is basically perfect a uh, really nice fresh shell fresh cells here we got a 9 amp hour pack uh, with a bit of corrosion on the plates but not on the batteries so that's pretty much perfect. This here is also pretty much perfect which I'm really happy with because these are high density 3 amp hour cells. Then we got this one here which is the 2 amp hour LG cells. A really nice uh, set here so that's good. Another 2 amp hour Samsung cells. This one's really clean as well which I'm happy about. And then again uh, another fairly decent a bit of sanding would help but yeah I'm quite happy with the hole so far and I will probably be back again just showing you the cells dismantled and tested I am back and it's been about a week's time since I did the last update on my cell processing so these are basically all the cells I have done currently these ones here are partially tested I think there's a couple on the outside that I still need to test but a majority of these cells have been quite good so here's an example which got 2635 milliamp hours which is really nice these are 3000 brand new so that isn't bad then we also got there was a really rusty one that had so this is a cell that I found at 0.26 of a volt and the the other ones here were basically found at like 4 volts and all that but this one here actually got 2616 milliamp hours, which is very nice. I uh, did have a bit of corrosion on the back, so I sanded it all off, cleaned it up really nice. And basically, I've got a, a really nice battery, which is pretty much brand new. It's only lost 300 milliamp hours, and it was found at a low voltage. So it does show that, again, I've had other examples in the past, but it does it does prove that cells at low voltages are recoverable so uh, that is also good and also it did actually uh, get a higher milliamp hour rating than the one that was at a high voltage so uh, that's quite interesting um, then we've also got some red cells here uh, 2200 milliamp hours I'm pretty sure these are I think they are 2500 maybe 2600 new so it has lost a little bit but uh, overall I'm quite happy with the amount the amount of milliamp hours I got from those uh, pretty much just pretty much the same across the board and yeah so basically I pretty much have enough cells to do one more pack I can kind of get another one going as well but I'll probably uh, wait a little bit until I get some better cells but that is pretty much it uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick update on the power wall as you can see I've got the batteries just hooked up right now pretty badly uh, that one's on an angle because cell holders have this like thing here which doesn't usually matter when it's like mounted normally but uh, as of now um, 
I'm pretty much stuck at one point just waiting for more cells to process. But if you did enjoy, just please give this like this video a like and subscribe for more Tesla Power Object videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.